It's the other side and Ottawa's in town, so we bring in Kyle Torres of the Ottawa Senators. Kyle, thank you for uh, joining me today. Uh, the Ottawa Senators started the season 2-0, and oh, but since then have traded off wins and losses. In your mind, what's the biggest thing that you want to see when it comes to uh, finding that consistency and now starting to stack some wins? Um, just gaining chemistry, uh, playing together and, and uh, kind of playing within ourselves now we know how to. So it's just... I mean, it's a long road trip to start the year, uh, and it's kind of good to, to get everybody together. This is the last game of that road trip, and then you have three at home. Getting a win tonight or some points, what does that do for the team's confidence moving into a three-game homestand? Yeah, it's important just to carry that momentum home and uh, have the confidence coming off a strong trip. And, and uh, yeah, just it would be really nice to get home and, and uh, have some home cooking and play in front of our fans. When we uh, talk to the opponents that come into this building, they always talk about the speed of the Edmonton Oilers. How do you guys look to defend that tonight? Is it more of a defense by committee and getting the forwards to buy in and all that? Yeah, just uh, trying to match their speed when, when they have the puck, but just trying not to let them gain that speed and pick up that speed and wind it up low. So it's, uh, yeah, they're, they're a very good team and obviously off to a very hot start, so we're going to have to be on our A game. Now, it's been a tough week for the Ottawa Senators, given the news to the Anderson family, but how has the team rallied around their goaltender so far? He is back with the team. Yeah, I mean, he's, I can't say enough about him and his wife, Nicole, and, and uh, how strong they are and, and good people they are. And, um, to have him back is a, a huge confidence booster, and, and I mean, we'll do anything we can to, to help Nicole and, and help him uh, through this.